In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this graffiti portrait using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up, guys? Troll here, and welcome to another video by Tutorials Junction. And as you can see, this is the final output. Okay, so to create this effect, first of all, let's go to File menu and open the base image. So I'm going to select this wall image and go and open it. After that, we need to add the model image. So I'm going to go to File, and this time I'm going to go and select Place. Select your model image and then go and place it. Now let's go and make the model image a little bit bigger. So for that, hold your shift key and drag it from a corner. But when you make it big, make sure that it is not bigger than your canvas. You should be able to see the entire image. So I think this is big enough, then go and confirm it. Now to apply the effect, we need to copy the model image. So for that, make sure you have selected your model layer, then press Ctrl A to select it and then press Ctrl C to copy it. After that, click on this little eyeball here of your model layer so it is invisible for now and then go and create a new blank layer. And then go to your filter menu and select vanishing point. And in the vanishing point, it's super easy. First of all, let's zoom out a little bit. And here, if you want to zoom out, you have to press Ctrl minus to zoom out and Ctrl plus to zoom in. Easy. Okay, so I'm gonna go and zoom out till here. Now we need to build four points. So for that, you have to click, uh, make sure you have this thing. It's by default, so don't worry about it. And then go and make a first point here. We are just tracing down the wall, nothing else. So make one point here and then another point here. It doesn't even have to be 100% accurate. The Photoshop will do the job. Then go and make your final point here. Now here, I cannot see the wall, but I can guess by following this line. So I'm gonna go and put another point here and just gonna follow the top line here like this and do a click okay so i got blue line in a, like first try but sometimes it will show you red or yellow that means that it is not accurate so just play around with your corners you can just simply go and change it like this and keep playing with it until you get the perfect output so this is done now i'm gonna go and zoom in a little bit so go and press ctrl plus okay that's enough now remember we copied the model image we have to paste that here. So go and press Ctrl V. So it pasted the model image here. But before we do anything, while it is flat and we have this selection active, as you can see around the model, go and press Ctrl T. Now this will allow us to make image bigger or smaller. And I'm going to make it pretty small because when we add it in vanishing point, it will become pretty big. So I'm going to go and make it, uh, I think this is enough. Okay, and after that, click on your image in the anywhere and just drag it a little bit. So as you can see, now it is inside the vanishing point. And now I'm gonna go and click on this corner, hold my shift key and make it a little bit bigger like this. And a little bit bigger from the bottom like this. And then go and drag the image. Let it process, it can take some time. It's pretty demanding. So I'm gonna go and put the model here. It can take some trial and error to adjust, so don't freak out, it's completely normal. So I'm gonna go and put the model here, looking good, and then go and hit OK. OK, and now we don't need this original model photo anymore, so I'm just gonna select it and press delete. OK, now active this model layer back again, and then go to your blending options and change it to darken. And after that, go to your filter menu and select filter gallery. In the filter gallery, let me zoom out a little bit. OK. So here, go and select poster edges. It's in artistic and here you can find the poster edges. And edges thickness, go and make it two. Uh, and edge intensity, go and make it two. And in the posterization, make it all the way, six. Uh, and let's go and hit okay. And let's see if you want to change anything, you can simply just go and double click on this filter gallery and change it anytime. The benefit of smart objects. After that, right click on your model image and select blending options. And here we're gonna blend the model a little bit more with the background. For that, I'm gonna use this blend if option and first thing, go and drag the slider. But when you do this, hold your alt key and option if you are using Apple product. So hold your alt key and then drag the slider somewhere around here. So this is looking good. And then again, hold your alt key and drag this slider. So this one, I'm gonna go and keep it somewhere around here. So let's look at the after before. Now it's blending properly. Then go and hit OK. 
And now let's go and remove the background. For that, go and select a quick selection tool, right click and quick selection and make selection of the model and make sure that you have model layer active when you do this, okay? So let's go and make the selection of model. And to make your brush bigger and smaller, simply just use your bracket keys. It will save you a lot of time. The selection of outside is done, but I need to remove it from here. So I'm gonna go and select this minus option and then it will allow me to remove. So go and remove it. And once your selection is done, go and click on this layer mask icon here and it will remove the background just like that and now if i zoom in as you can see we did a little bit mistake while making our vanishing point so we can fix this all you have to do is go and select your move tool from here and press down key on your keyboard a couple of times and it will adjust it without any problem okay that is done now let's go and match the colors so for that go and create new adjustment layer and select hue saturation and then turn on your clipping mask so whatever changes i do will stay on the model okay so first of all let's go and make the saturation minus 30 it will number will be different for different images okay and another thing is the model was originally shot on yellow background so there is a little bit of yellow highlights on the skin so for that uh, in the masters go and change it to yellows and make it somewhere around like you know minus 40 50 percent Okay, so that is fine, then go and close it. So now if I turn it on and off, as you can see, it blends the image a lot better. And after that, go and create another adjustment layer, and this time select color lookup. And in the color lookup, uh, you can try different looks. I'm gonna go and select three strip, and then close it. Now if I turn it on and off, I really like the look it gives to the wall and little bit on the hand, but I don't like the colors on the face. So I'm gonna select my brush tool, and we already have a layer mask here. So make sure you have black color, right click and make sure hardness is 0% and then go and remove it from the skin just like this. And after that I'm gonna go and make the shadows a little bit softer because I like that type of look, nothing else. So go and create new adjustment layer and select curves and to make the shadow softer go and make a dot here like this and then lift up this uh, slider from here a little bit, not too much. That's nice, then go and close it. Okay, so the graffiti effect itself, it's done here. After that, I did a couple of things to make the image look overall better. So for that, first thing I did was create new blank layer, uh, select my brush tool, and in the color, go and select some really nice vibrant color. I, I selected this blue tone because it went really nice with the dress. So I'm gonna go and hit OK. And after that, right click and make sure that hardness is somewhere like 50, 60%. So I'm gonna keep it 55 and then paint on the glasses of model and always make sure that you paint on your new blank layer okay so then go and paint like this once you have done the painting go to your blending options and select overlay and you have this really nice colorful glasses effect that goes well with the dress and you can also reduce the opacity to blend it a little bit more okay so it looks nice and after that I removed this building from here and added a sky to give it different look. So for that go and select your uh, polygon lasso tool from here, right click polygon lasso and make selection of this corner here. So make a dot here, uh, go and make selection here like this, a dot here and to finish the selection just double click and you have the selection. And after that activate your background layer which has the building and then you have to click on your layer mask but when you do it hold your alt key and then do a click so only that portion will be gone then we need to add a sky so i'm gonna use the same sky we used in yesterday's tutorial so go to file menu go to place and select the sky image and place it go and confirm it and <laughs> it's looking weird just go and put this under your uh, background image here so here's the sky Select your move tool and move the sky a little bit here like this. So it changes the entire look of the image. And after that I also made the foreground a little bit darker because it's way too overexposed. So for that activate your background layer. Then go and create new adjustment layer and select brightness and contrast. 
and then reduce the brightness a little bit now i know it changed the brightness of entire image but don't worry about it so go and make it somewhere around let's say minus 40 percent looks good then go and close it now select the mask here and then press ctrl i so all the effect is hidden at the moment then select a brush tool and this time we want to bring it back so for that i'm gonna go and select white color and i have the same brush tool but this time i'm gonna go and change my hardness to zero percent and then just simply go and paint in here so now if i turn it on and off it gives it a little bit more depth and looks nice let's go and make it a bit more darker okay then go and close it so that's it and this is how i created this graffiti effect okay we forgot to remove this one but that's fine Okay, so I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did, hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, feel free to ask me in comment section below. And if you are new here and wanna check out more stuff by me, you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel. So every time I upload a new video, you will get the updates. Plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my YouTube channel where I have tons of Photoshop tutorials waiting for you. So till then, goodbye. Take care and have some fun with Photoshop.